Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, myself Professor Uday Bukre. Now I am welcoming you on your own YouTube channel Ikeda. Hope you are watching my videos regularly and also finding it interesting. I request you, if you are watching my video for first time, please subscribe to the channel Ikeda and also press bell icon for your latest notification. Friends, today we are going to learn for CA Intercourse Accountancy subject, single entry topic question number 9 which is on your screen right now. <music> Students, let's read the question. Mr. X runs a retail business. Suddenly, he finds on 31st March 11 that his cash and bank balances have reduced considerably. He feels that cash balance has reduced considerably. It is a matter of worry. We need to worry on that. So, he provides you the following information. Debtors, creditors, cash at bank, cash in hand, rent outstanding for one month. So, they are very clear. Monthly rent outstanding is there. The stock and electricity and telephone bill outstanding. Now I want to mention and rather we all know that amounts in first column are your opening figures that will be placed in your opening statement of affairs. Amount in second column we will place in the closing uh, balances that we know. Little discussion I want to do about this uh, rent which is outstanding. So last year my rent was 2400 per month. I hope you agree with my uh, discussion. And this year my rent outstanding is 3000 which is also one month. That means current year rent must have increased from 2400 per month to 3000 per month. So it is very interesting thing we are going to learn in this example. So we will wait and see. Bank passbook means we are very sure one effect will be there in the bank account or I can see if you are preparing cash book in columnar form one effect will be there in the bank column so we will prepare cash book with the cash and bank column both total deposits are 10 lakh 34,000 what entry you will pass for deposits your entry for deposit will be bank to cash it is a contra entry Withdrawals for creditors, professional charges, furniture and fixture, proprietor's drawing. Creditors we will give to the respective account effect. Professional charges we will take to the PL account. Furniture and fitting it was acquired on 1st of October 2010. So it will be shown as a asset, but date has a relevance for calculation of depreciation we know. Proprietor's drawing we will minus from capital. Rent has been increased from 1st January 2011 so they are very clear rent has increased from 1st January 11 means prior to that for 9 months we have paid rent at the rate of 2400 and thereafter it has become 3000 so we have to prepare a small working note for this rent consideration and that we will do rather I want to do that working note right now so we will have a working note student Current year is 2010 and 11. That means it will begin on 1st April 10 and it will be up to 31st March 11. So I just want to mention here how rent will be considered from 1st April 2010 to 31st of December 2010. My rent must be 2400 per month. right and it is for nine months right so 2400 into nine months comes to 21600 thereafter rent has increased from 1st january 11 to 31st of march 11 it has become 3000 per month So my total rent for the period which will be debited to profit and loss importantly it is subject to the adjustment of outstanding also that we will see total rent on accrual basis will be uh, 30,600. 
this we will note down when we prepare pn account so one working we have kept ready so that it will be very much helpful to us mr x deposited all cash sales all cash sales were deposited and collection from debtors after meeting wages shop expenses rent electricity and telephone charges so all amounts are deposited in the bank means this deposit is after payment of all these expenses so we have to be very sure we have paid wages we have paid shop expense we have paid rent we have paid electricity and telephone charges so these expenses are paid so but importantly amounts are not available so we'll come to that later on again mr x made all purchases on on credit so there are no there are no cash purchases his credit sales during the year amounted to rupees 9 lakhs very beautifully they have given you credit sales ka figure what will be your entry students debtors to sale sales will be as usual credited to your trading account he incurred 6500 per month towards the wages so wages figure i have got 6500 per month so here i am noting it down 6500 for 12 months we must have to consider in my pnl account and it is subject to outstanding if any which is provided here what will be entry for wages once again wages account debit to cash or bank right so cash rather i can say because we deposited all cash after payment of this so i can say my entry will be wages to cash He incurred following expenses, electricity and telephone charges, 24,000 paid, shop expenses paid. So this, uh, I can say these two points have a connection with point number four. So be careful, we will handle this simultaneously. It is paid, they are saying. So if it is paid, of course, cash account will be created and respective account will be debited. Importantly, electricity and telephone bills are outstanding also. We have to adjust outstanding also that we will see. Charge depreciation of furniture and fixture at the rate of 10% per annum. Tell me on what day we acquired the furniture, that particular asset furniture. Furniture we acquired, they have mentioned on 1st of October. That means it has a depreciation for how many months students? Six months. Very simple and... Uh, very mind-blowing question likely to come in your exam finalize the account of mr x that means they want you to prepare trading and pl account and of course balance sheet prepare a statement of affairs not only that they are asking you prepare statement of affairs and reconcile the profit and capital balances so question is giving you so many things firstly to finalize the account when i'm saying finalize the account means trading account pl account and balance sheet next they are asking you prepare a statement of affairs that means you will prepare statement of affairs with the help of this available information means some columnar uh, statement of affairs you can prepare or you can prepare two different statement of affairs that doesn't matter and they want you to reconcile the profit that means as per your first method statement of affairs method how you derive the profit that will be calculated so we will wait and watch we will prepare firstly in our normal way and then we will do this reconciliation work students i am writing opening balances first you can see students they have given you opening balances here which i will enter in my opening statement of affairs on 31st my 10 which i can say 1st april 2010 so i am writing that it is our working note number two because working note number one i kept for cash book which is essential part of our presentation so working note number two we are preparing Continuing, so these all balances I am noting in my opening statement of affairs.
these all opening balances i will enter in my current year's account so accordingly i am posting for various accounts debtors cash book i have to prepare i have to prepare creditors account there are no bills receivable bills payable accounts so slowly we will prepare Datos, I am writing as the opening balance of datos. Bank and cash, we will write in our cash book. So, bank and cash, we have noted. Stock 11400 will be our opening stock. Eleven four hundred. We have taken debtors, bank, cash, stock, creditors. Opening balance. I need to write buy balance brought down. Eighty four four hundred. Now one thing which I have to adjust is rent outstanding. Let us go ahead with this adjustment now. For rent already we did one working note. If you remember, I am making it as working note number five. Okay, here we decided that total rent for the year is 30,600. It is subject to your uh, outstanding. Okay, so this rent which will come in the outer column of profit and loss account, outstanding rent will be accordingly adjusted. But we need to find out how much rent has been paid. So let us come to our PL account. In my PL account, I will write here to rent paid. Then I will add outstanding of current year and I will minus outstanding of last year and the resulting figure which is our current year's expense as per my working note as per this working note number 5 we have noted it as 30,600 by doing this calculation rent has increased so 30,600 is your total rent in the outer column Now let us come to the last year's uh, statement of affairs we have prepared. Outstanding rent for last year was 2400. This I will minus in current year's payment because it, it does not relate to current year, it relates to last year. And current year rent outstanding, if I look at this data, if I look at this data, uh, this 3000 is outstanding at the end of the current year and current year outstanding rent we add so we will note down here outstanding rent of current year is added goes without saying second effect will come on the liability side of your balance sheet outstanding rent for the current year on liability side so we have completed rent with all adjustments let me find out how much rent must have been paid by us Student, if you go in the reverse way, I will get rent paid as a balancing figure. That means in 30,600, I will add 2,400 and I will minus 3,000. So rent paid by you must be 30,000. Rent paid by you must be 30,000. And look at the question. In information number 4, they deposited all cash after paying these expenses. That means rent is paid in cash. So in cash column of your cash book, you will note down by rent paid 30,000. Done. Next information. See, we have completed rent. Simultaneously, let us come with this. Uh, outstanding is not there in the last year. So, it is not there in the last year. So, no adjustment for the last year in current period at least. Uh, we will come to this information again later on. Bank passbook revealed the following information. Total deposits in the bank 10, 10,34,000. My entry will be bank account debit to cash. So, in my cash book, I will note down bank account debit to cash account credit. So, slowly we will give the posting bank account debit to cash account.
it is a contra entry and in cash account on credit side i will write buy bank account contra in cash column i will mention 10 lakh 34000 okay next withdrawals means money is withdrawn from the bank right it is withdrawn for what it is withdrawn for the payments so if you say that it is cash to bank it will not be proper way we will say that okay, these withdrawals will be debited to the respective account and it will be credited to the bank account so in bank account firstly i am giving credit then we will think about debit aspect So student, you can notice uh, these uh, four things we have credited and of course it will be debited to the respective account that means it will be debited to creditors account, to bank account, it like 90,000. Next they gave you professional charges, so professional charges will be debited to profit and loss account. Then we have written buy furniture. So furniture will come in your balance sheet on asset side. Furniture amount they gave you 54,000 and I wrote it in the first uh, inner column. The reason being it was purchased on 11010. And there is a depreciation to be provided. If you see the question, there is an adjustment given for a depreciation. Can you see this? Last adjustment number 9, charge depreciation on furniture at 10% per annum goes without saying for 6 months. So I will provide depreciation on furniture. It comes to 2700. Your difference is 51300. Student, we know that depreciation have a debit effect in PNL. So, what I have done, I have provided a depreciation on furniture. So, we are done with the furniture. Last thing which we have credited in the cash book. Pay attention, creditors we have taken, professional charges we will debit to the PL account and I think we have taken that, right? Furniture we have taken to the balance sheet asset, drawings I will minus from the capital. So in capital I need to minus drawing by check. So I am just mentioning the space for writing the capital. From that I am minusing drawings. And just for our knowledge, I am mentioning it is in the form of checks. 1,61,000. 1,61,000 is the drawing amount. We have completed students this information also and this opening balance information also. Next, rent has been increased from January 2011 and I think this we have taken care in our working note. Then they have given you X deposited all cash sales and collection from debtors after meeting wages, shop, expenses, rent, electricity and telephone charges. Means whatever collection we get from the debtors, firstly it is paid in the cash and then from cash after meeting the expenses we will write it uh, in the bank. So we have to be very careful, firstly receive the cash from the debtors and cash sales, pay the expenses and remaining amount we have paid in the bank and that we have already noted earlier. 
so one thing is sure debtors are paying me in cash okay uh, then uh, we can see that wages are to be paid right so wages paid are 6500 into 12 you can notice information number uh, 7 wages are given 6500 per month and after paying the wages money is deposited that means wages are paid in cash wages to cash wages will be debited in your trading account so i am coming to your trading account and when it is paid cash account will be credited next thing wages then shop expenses now let us see what are your shop expenses paid 18000 right they are not mentioned anywhere outstanding shop expenses i don't see that right so i will say these are paid and these are only your actual expenses so my entry will be expense account debit to cash account so once again in pl account first and it will be created in your cash book so we have considered shop expenses also wages also wages are considered shop expense are considered rent is considered electricity and telephone charges paid amount is given 24000 so we paid and of course it will be adjusted for your outstanding Firstly, we'll come to the PL account. Twenty-four thousand has been paid, so it will be created in your cash column by electricity and uh, telephone. If I look at the question, they mentioned there is an outstanding electricity and telephone bills this i am considering simultaneously so i will add it to the expense and balance sheet liability outstanding will be your liability also so we have adjusted that also So practically I have completed this part and adjustment number 7 and 8. Mr. X made all purchases on credit. So very sure there are credit purchases but I don't know the amount of that. I will come to this information later on. His credit sales during the year amounted to rupees 9 lakhs. So very simply they gave you credit sales are rupees 9 lakhs. So I will record. What will be my entry student? My entry will be data to sales. So data account will be debited. In my trading account, I am writing buy sales. Now, if I look at the question, they tell, tell you that in fourth information, all cash sales and collection from data. That means besides credit sales, there must be cash sales. So we have to keep that in the mind. So sales I am underlining and I am writing credit sale first, which is readily provided amount rupees 9 lakhs. We'll wait for cash sales to come. Cash sales at the minute, I don't know. So this I have to record. So we have also taken credit sales. He incurred 6,500 per month as a wages that we have taken care. He incurred following expenses that we have taken care. He has a depreciation that also we have taken care. So student, what are our closing balances that I need to write now? This I will firstly write in my balance sheet and then I will write in the respective account. So please wait for that. So students, we have completed writing in the balance sheet asset side. We have also, uh, we have recorded data 5800, creditors 20 to 400, 
बैंक बैलेंस 2500 कैश बैलेंस 500 आउटस्टैंडिंग रेंट इज ऑलरेडी कंसीडर्ड स्टॉक 20000 एंड आउटस्टैंडिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड टेलीफोन बिल इज आल्सो कंसीडर्ड सो लेट अस थिंक अबाउट द सेकंड एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दैट डेटास क्लोजिंग बैलेंस आई विल राइट इन द डेटास अकाउंट सो डेटास वी हैव नोटेड creditors 20 to 400 bank balance 2500 cash balance 500 cash 500 and bank balance 2500 rent outstanding we have taken stock second effect trading account credit side Okay students, so we have completed posting of the given data. Everything on this question page, we have recorded everything. Nothing is left out. Now I need to find out few of the things. First thing what I need to find out, uh, what is the amount of cash sales? Because they are very clear, deposited all cash sales and collection from data so whatever collection from data etc we will deposit in the bank remaining amount right that what we have done here uh, and uh, one more thing i need to find out the remaining amount that is uh, if there is any missing amount is given those amounts i will find out let us close all the accounts and we will find the link between that if I look at these three things, that is statement of as creators account, data's account, I am not considering cash account at the minute because there could be some cash transactions out of this. Okay, so let me close firstly my creators account. If I look at my creators account, debit side is heavier, the balancing figure will appear on the credit side. It is a collection from data. This figure is your credit purchases. This figure is your credit purchases. This I will record here. One more thing you can notice fifth information says that he make all purchase on credit. So there are no cash purchases. So we have completed creditors account. If I want to close my debtors account, if you see the debtors, debit side is heavier. Balancing figure will appear on credit side. The balancing figure in your debtors account on credit side must be the cash collected by you. So here I have written buy cash. So in cash book, I will write two debtors. It is 876-600. Now in this example, they clearly mention that there are cash sales. So let me close my cash book. That is cash column. I will find out what is difference on the debit side. And that difference on the debit side will be our cash sales. This cash sales I will record in my trading account. right so i have recorded that i need to close my bank column now if you see my bank column it is telling at this figure so there is no missing figure in the bank column i need to close my last year statement of affairs
7800 is my opening capital so this i am entering in my uh, current balance sheet i think i am done with all my workings now i need to close my trading and pnl account So students, my net profit 184,400 it will be added to the capital. Remaining capital is 101,300. In this way, this balance sheet also gets tally. The question is not over. Let me tell you, uh, if you see the question, the last part. Prepare his statement of affairs and reconcile profit and loss and the capital balance. So I can say statement of affairs. Why should we say statement of affairs? We are having a closing balance sheet as it is. Consider it as if it is your statement of affairs, it is your closing capital which could be a balancing figure otherwise. If I go in the reverse way, I will be able to find out a profit. What they are asking you, reconcile the profit and capital balance. So capital balance we got, right? So if I consider directly this balance sheet, capital will be a balancing figure. So we know that because we have done the final account. But we will prepare a statement of profit and loss, a small statement of profit and loss as we always prepare in our statement of affairs method. Small working note will come. Statement showing reconciliation of profit that is basically a statement of profit and loss we prepare. Capital on 31st March 11. What I have written? Capital on 31st March 11. That is as per your latest balance sheet. It is 101300. Okay. From that what I will minus? Capital at the beginning of the period. What is your net change? 20 to 500. To that what we will add? We will add drawings. So add drawings. In this example, they gave you the drawing. Here it is given 161900. So I will add the drawing 161900. So your net profit for the year is 184,400. Uh, this I have prepared a statement because they have asked you. Otherwise in this example it is absolutely not needed. But since question asked you to reconcile, we have prepared this small statement just not to lose the mark. Otherwise I would have avoided this. It, will, it is of no use at the minute. I hope whatever I have taught in today's session you have understood. Still, if there are any doubts, my suggestion, please see the video again and again, at least for two times, you will be able to understand. Single entity topic is very, very interesting. But in exam, you are likely to commit a maximum mistakes only in this topic. I want that you have a thorough knowledge of accounts, then only you touch this topic. Topic is going to be very easy, but your presence of mind matters a lot. I hope I am clear on what I am saying. I 
रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल बिफोर आई क्लोज द वीडियो एंड ऑल्सो प्रेस बेल आइकन रिफर टू योर फ्रेंड्स टू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो गॉड ब्लेस यू ऑल